Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be talking about Episode 2, and also about the title, so yesterday I did a video on the Episode 1 title, so today's video is on Episode 2 title, so Supergirl has released the first three titles of the season, so we're going to be talking about the second one, which I find really interesting, and this video is not going to be too long because I actually do have a flight to catch within a few hours. So let's get into this video. So the episode 2 title is entitled Triggers. So first off, looking at this title, scanning over it, you sort of think triggers. A trigger is something that happens like spontaneously. You do something and you remember something, or you do something and you regret it. You do something and something happens. Something happens after you pull a trigger or you do something to trigger something. So my first thought is maybe it will be some sort of flashback. She will start remembering her human side of herself because in episode one we know she's going to be very, very depressed and she's going to be mainly doing her Supergirl stuff and she thinks Kara Danvers is a mistake. So I do think Triggers is inferring to her state of mind and maybe in this episode something will trigger her to remember how good her life was as Kara Danvers and also as Supergirl. So maybe we will get some Monel flashbacks in this episode because it does seem like triggers will be inferring to her state of mind and what she's going to do going forward. So maybe this is the episode where Kara becomes Kara again when she sort of takes that part of her life back from the darkness that she's in right now because she's only using her Supergirl side and she is just really depressed. So I do think it's going to be her questioning her humanity and hopefully in this episode she becomes Kara Danvers again. Hopefully she realises that she needs to be Kara Danvers to balance out her life, to live a human life, and to realise that she is a human. She does live on Earth, she's not just a Kryptonian, now she's a human. Because that part of her life is crucial in her well-being. Obviously the people around her need her to be Kara Danvers, like her family, Alex, Eliza, even Monel when he comes back. They need her to be Kara Danvers, but also be Supergirl at the same time to protect the city, but to protect her own life so that is what I think the title is inferring so what do you guys think I think it's going to be awesome seeing this sort of return of Kara Danvers potentially so hopefully you guys enjoy this video please be sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later goodbye